Hi everybody, it's Amy with Feel Better With Yoga. How are you? How are you feeling? How are you coping right now? This has been a heck of a year. A year full of a lot of fear and anxiety, sadness, loss, a uh, feel of loneliness and isolation. And so I'm really glad that you're taking some time today to practice a little bit of self-care during these really uncertain times. Because really, take care of ourselves to help us cope and get through another day or another month of all this. So I have shoes off. You don't have to take your shoes off. Whatever feels good. Find a comfortable chair that's nice and stable, uh, that has a back to it and you can watch me in the beginning or go ahead and close your eyes I'm not doing anything that you need to see so sit up tall let your hands just fall and rest in your lap close your eyes take a deep breath in and let that out take another breath just like that and really notice what that feels like to feel the air rushing into you and feel how good it feels to sigh all of that out. And bringing ourselves to a place of being present, to mindfulness, where we're being mindful and noticing what's happening in our bodies and around us, noticing what we can feel or see when we open our eyes or hear and even taste and smell. So the most obvious thing we have to notice that's with us all the time is our breath. Notice that beautiful, energizing breath coming into your body. Notice what it feels like when it leaves. Track it, watch it. Imagine you can see it coming into you, going everywhere, filling you up like a balloon and then rushing out of you with a sound. Body inflating and growing bigger and wider and deflating, growing softer. Really not trying to change or alter our breath in any way. You might enjoy breathing deeper and slower. And for now, you might enjoy just not. You might want to just breathe like you normally do, but we're noticing it. Bring your awareness to your body and the physical space you take up, the air around you that you're moving out. Feel the chair underneath you and how it's supporting you. Feel the bo bones in your bottom pulling down into the seat and the backs of your legs pressing against it. Feel the soles of your feet pressing against whatever they're pressing against, whether that's ground, grass, carpet, socks, the insides of your shoes, a mat. Just notice what that feels like. We'll take a couple more breaths here in stillness. And then we'll start moving, but moving in a way that matches our breath. Breath guiding everything that we do. Okay, you can keep your eyes closed and just listen to me or feel free to open your eyes and watch me. Okay, inhale. Let's start to roll the shoulders a little bit. Pick one shoulder up, roll it back, drop it down. And then breathe in. The other one goes up. Exhale it down, just making big circles with each shoulder by itself. And the hands and arms don't have any job right now, so they may be dragged along the chair or your leg. One more on each side. Let's 
stop there come back to facing forward let's tip our head over to one side ear dropping towards the shoulder not pressing or forcing just letting it hang wherever it goes breathe in breathe out feel that giant stretch from the muscle in the muscle from the jaw all the way down to the shoulder bone or the collarbone Pick your head back up and take it over to the other side. Deep breaths here. Every time we exhale, our body knows to relax and soften. So that's where the opportunity is to really get that self-care, to really relax, to find a deeper stretch, to release tension in the exhale. Back up to neutral. Good. Now turn your head over to one side as though you're going to look right at whoever's next to you. Even bigger stretch here, and I'm feeling it right there in these muscles that get so tight and we get a crick in our neck. One more breath. Good. Look straight ahead and being careful as you turn the neck and go over to the other side. Ah. If you've got a crick in your neck in one side or the other from sleeping wrong, maybe uh, protect it, be gentle with it. And exhale, bring your head back to facing straight ahead. Let's do the shoulder rolls one more time and then we're going to add on to them. Inhale, shoulder up, exhale it down. Other side. Notice where you feel this. This is all through your shoulder, but I even feel it down here in my rib cage a little bit, in the back. I feel it in my belly. One more on each side. Good. Rest your hands in your lap, facing forward. Same thing again, but this time we're going to do the whole arm as though we're doing a backstroke. Inhale, arm all the way up. Reach it behind you. Exhale it back to neutral. Other side. Exhale down. Inhale up. So one thing, now that it's October, I'm missing, as much as I love sunshine and the pool and beach, just being outside, I'm missing that. And so I'm imagining a lot about swimming. And this reminds me of doing a backstroke. One more on each arm. Good. Face forward, hands back to your lap. Same thing, only this time we're going to do freestyle or the crawl. And you remember that. That's what we all do if we get in water. Inhale, arm back. Reach it up and slice it through the water. Exhale, inhale it back and up. Exhale through the water, forward and down. One more on each side. Come back to the hands in the lap, sitting up tall. How about a little side stroke? First, we'll start out with just reach one arm over to the side like you want to touch the person next to you. Exhale, bring that arm back and do it again. Inhale, exhale, bring it back. Do you feel all that work? in your belly that that's what's helping you not fall over and pull that arm back inhale exhale pull it back now both arms inhale exhale hands together so this is the side stroke we're moving water and it's funny how just arm movement gets your arm, makes your heart beat a little faster, makes you a little bit out of breath. One more to that side. Good. Hands down. Maybe shake that out. 
side stroke other side but to begin with just one arm so we'll lean over to one side if it's hard hold on to the edge of your chair or something if or if your back is tweaky inhale exhale pull it back inhale exhale pull it back Okay, now both arms, just like a side stroke, inhale, and then move the water with your arms. Inhale, exhale, push through the water. One more like that. Good. Phew. Okay. Now we're going to pretend that we're suns saluting our, the sun all the way up to the sky, our arms all the way up to the sky, and then dangle in the water to cool us off. Inhale, reach up towards the sun. Exhale, fold forward. Arms down in the water. Maybe you're splashing yourself and cooling off. And then rise back up. Inhale. And exhale forward. You know that feeling when you're just sitting on the edge of the pool and you don't really want to get in, but you're starting to get really too hot. And so you put your arms and hands in the water, splash yourself a little bit, and then you come back up and you feel the water draining and dripping down your arms. One more, up and down like that. Okay, rise back up. One more here. Exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. Take a breath. And we're going to continue from this point right here. One more stroke. If you ever took swimming lessons or put your kids or grandkids through swimming lessons, we'll come into the breaststroke. So take a breath in, exhale, hands push through the water, slicing through it, and then push the water away, inhale, exhale through the water, inhale, come up and get a breath, exhale, hands slice through the water, inhale, take a breath, keep that moving. And yeah, if you're feeling out of breath from all this great movement, you're with me. I am too. Sequence of that. Ah, hands in the lap. Good. That was a lot. Huh? Now let's practice a little bit of kicking. We did all the arm work, but no kicking. So to start, let's just stay seated like this. If you can, sit up nice and tall. If you need some support for your back, lean against the back of the chair. That's why it's there. You can even hold on to whatever you've got, maybe the, the seat of the chair. We're just going to start with some legs, working the tummy and the thighs. So one leg at a time, lift it up, put it down, lift it up, put it down. Sitting Again, sitting on the edge of the pool and you're splashing the water up and dropping your leg back in the water. Who's in front of you that you're splashing? It's funny, we love doing this to other people. We don't really love people <laughs> kicking water in our face. That's just me. Keep breathing. That guides your movement. Inhale, exhale, drop it down. Inhale, exhale, drop it down. One more on each leg. Good, let that drop down. Okay, you ready? We're going to add to that a little bit. Now this one, if you can, stay up nice and tall. If you need the back of your chair, do that. Ooh, two planes. Sit back, and we're going to flutter kick. Whether you're a swimmer or not, you know this one. We're just kicking water. Somebody in front of us. How many kids' fights have you separated in water because of this move? Because this is what they're doing to each other. 
Oh, and my tummy's burning. This is burning. Keep going. If you need to rest, do. If you can keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, and stop. <sighs> okay, bounce your legs around a little bit. Maybe give them a little massage right here with your hands. One more. This one's hard. And I don't even know if it's a swimming kick, but it's kicking. So, and this one, we're going to lean back, hold on to whatever part of the chair. Feet come up, ready. Legs don't have to be straight. We're going to scissor kick, crossing over. And where's your breath? This is where we might try to hold our breath. But remember, all the good stuff happens when we exhale. Ay, 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 ow. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, let it down. <sighs> and that's so random, I don't know why I quit. Okay, so now we're going to come to standing. Stand up, come to one side of your chair. I think that's okay like that. Okay, now we're going to pretend it really is October. And we just want to dip our toes in the water and see how cold it is. And it's pretty cold. So we're going to dip toes in the water and kick up and kick back. Standing on the edge of the pool, just dipping our toes in and splashing water back and forth. If you need more than just one hand on the chair, adjust the chair so that you can have both hands on it. One more. Good. Take that leg down. Okay. Get on the other side of your chair. Or turn your chair. Whatever. Same thing. Inhale. Exhale back. You can even add a little dip of the knee if that feels good. So, so much tummy work and core here. Back, side abdominals, the front. All those muscles that keep us up tall, not falling. As the leg goes back, we're squeezing our bottom muscles. Strong thighs. Last time. Okay, bring that leg down. Good. Other side of the chair. Actually, I'm going to turn my chair so that you can see me. This has nothing to do with swimming that I can think of, but downward facing dog, facing the chair, hold on to the back of the chair, and without rounding the back, we're going to keep the back as straight as we can, walk the feet back to wherever they will comfortably go, holding the chair, and let yourself bend forward. Long, strong spine, and we're also stretching the backs of the legs from the hips all the way down the legs and the calves. Straight legs or not straight. Bend them, march them in place, do what feels good. All the sensations we have in our body are there for a reason. They're there to tell us something. So move in a way that your body wants to move, and be sure not to move in a way that your body is sending you signals about saying, hey, that hurts, that's not good. Okay, holding the chair. Use the chair to help yourself push back up. Walk in a little bit closer. I'm in the mud, okay. A little bit of push up to strengthen the arms. Lower and push away from your chair. We'll keep the elbows in tight as though they could touch your rib cage and push away. You don't have to go all the way down to wherever you can and push away. I have a lot of friends, family members, uh, yoga clients who have had surgery, hip surgery, broken a hip, something like that, and ended up using a walker afterwards. And a walker doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is. You use a lot of arm strength when you're using canes and walkers. 
and just you lifting yourself up and out of chairs, it's, we overlook it. Okay, one more. Push away. All right, walk a little closer to the chair. Bring one foot closer to the chair. We're going to bend the back leg a little bit and flex this foot back. Big stretch down the back of that leg and calf. And then let's tap the foot. And then with the foot pressed all the way into the ground, just stay right there, stretching out the shin. Okay, and switch. Come up out of that. This is Houston. We have fire ants. I gotta make sure where I put my feet. I'm, I'm looking at a little suspicious pile right there that could be ants. I don't know. All right, bend the other leg, other foot forward, and stretch the back of this leg. Flex the foot back to wherever you need it to go. Okay, now tap that foot. Oops. Tap, tap, tap. And then leave that foot pressed down into the ground, really stretching the shin and the top of the foot. Okay, take that back. Face forward, holding onto the chair. We're gonna come into a little, little bit of a chair move as though we were gonna sit in the chair. Pretend you're gonna jump into the pool. And now, I was never one to enjoy jumping into the pool, ever, even as a kid, and especially off the diving board. But we're going to bend the knees, squeeze tight, strong thighs, strong bottom, and then jump. And maybe jump only comes to standing up, maybe even go up on your tiptoe, and then get ready to jump again. Ready? Edge of the pool, hold it here, breathe. One more breath in, exhale, jump. Good. And one more time. Squat down a little bit. This time with one arm, or if you want, you can do both arms. Just be careful not to throw yourself off balance. We'll jump up and lift our arm up. One more breath, breathe in. And exhale, jump. And come back down, shake that out. Okay, now that we're standing just like this, holding onto the chair, let's stretch out the front of this leg. See if you can reach back and hold on to your heel or your ankle and stretch out the front of the leg. The leg doesn't have to go all the way back. Wherever it goes to, maybe here, you're already feeling it. That's okay. I'm stepping on ants. <laughs> okay, let that down. And do the other one. You just do it where you are. I gotta turn so that you can see me. As you exhale, carefully, gently let that leg down and come back to sitting in your chair. <sighs> Close your eyes, sit up tall, rock a little bit, find your balance in the chair, feel the chair supporting you, holding you up. And notice the way your body feels now compared to before we started. Maybe you feel a little bit more energized, but also relaxed, a little more certain, maybe a little bit more positive than before we started.
there's a saying, life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. Life is about learning to dance in the rain. And so far this year, it's still raining. And we don't know when it'll stop. So we learn how to dance. We learn how to cope with all that's going on around us. Continuing to take care of ourselves, because that's really all we can do right now. Bring your hands together at your heart. Press your thumbs against your breastbone. And see if you can picture right underneath your thumbs, right underneath your sternum, that breastbone, is your heart pumping and beating for you. Taking every breath of air you breathe in, circulating it all over your body. Right there, right here, just this far away from your thumbs. And take one last breath before you go back out into your day and whatever the day holds for you. And may this practice carry you through the rest of your day and into the, in, through the days to come until we're able to practice together again. Thank you for taking care of yourself with me today. Namaste.